Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how you can programmatically insert a function or a formula into a cell in the VBA environment. So let's go on and uh, get that set up. I have the sheet in front of me and what I'm going to do is show you how we can insert a formula into cell C8. Is that it's going to add these values right here but using the Visual Basic environment not just typing it in. So to get started I am going to First off, record some code here. I'm going to do record macro. That's going to do formula macro and hit OK. So right now it's recording. In cell C8, I'm going to put equal sum and I'm going to select these values, select this range, and then go on and hit enter. And I'm going to do stop recording and go to the macros. And I'm going to do the formula macro. Click edit. So this is the value that we get we get active well I'm sorry this is the code that we get we get active cell dot formula r1 c1 is equal to equal sum and then we have the r1 c1 syntax and I'm gonna go on and just change this out so first off I don't wanna have it select c8 I just wanna give it the value so I'm gonna do range c8 set it and replace active cell with range c8 and we can delete this code right here and if we were to hit delete the formula that we created and run that macro go on select run and we get the same data C9 and C15 now what we can do to change this out make it a little bit easier we can change the range C8 to be just dot formula and we can change this to equal sum and then we can put in the actual value that we see in the address bar equal sum open parentheses c9 to c15 range and then close parentheses we can actually use that exact value right here and it makes it a lot easier so just go on and delete this out and run the macro again formula macro click run and we get the same value equal sum c9 to c15 and we get, and we get that range and just to kind of sum it up we know that we're working with sheet one in case you wanted to do this from a different sheet let's say that you're in sheet three you can do sheet one dot range c8 equals this formula right here so that way if we're in this sheet right here we'll just call this second sheet and I'm gonna show you really quick what I'm doing here in the, in the Visual Basic environment when I call sheet one I'm calling this sheet right here the sheet that we created, if you notice, the caption was still sheet one, but the name of the sheet was sheet two. So that's why I renamed it the second sheet, but we're still working with sheet one, which is the very first sheet here. So if I'm in the second sheet and I run that macro, formula macro and select run, we're still gonna get that same macro up here in this address bar. And it doesn't make any kind of modifications to the second sheet because we're only calling sheet one. Now, a lot of you may ask, what's the purpose of doing this? Why would you want to assign a macro programmatically? You may have a very complex pr program or Excel application that might be changing. It might be deleting rows, adding columns, and you, you may want to be changing the range that you're working with. I mean, that's one reason why you might want to do this programmatically. But again, the scope of this video was just to show how you can assign a formula or a function to the formula address bar. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.